one, choice two, choice ten. Choices, choices, choices. Life is full of so many choices and just as today Rebecca and I decided, well, what about we dress up the same? Well, great minds think alike. And just as your life is filled with so many choices, we thank you for tuning in and choosing to watch The One. My name is Sharon Chirwa, and I welcome you to another edition of The One. As always, I am with my co-host, Rebecca Kadzaeka. Tilipano, kukuni kirani, kumaso kutandiza na nzeru, mene tinga bilitsire miyo ya tupatsogoro, pajaro wa maati nzeru kupangwa. Sabade ya bidai, mprogram ya mweno, tinari nda Group Managing Director, Aniko Group. Iwa wa, anatamba suramo mveka buinu, mene kampani hivu endira. Kumaso, anatifoto kuzira maso mpenya, a kampani mene hivu. Sabade ya ino, karaniso ni kompa, kutimu mve, kutimu tumba mene mu, tatutamu zodani. Tipebese, chifoti tinaneno tikandi sewero, labu wana jo. Kumabu wana jo, munga mungu ziwa nda CEO, atalikira, lero savezega. Koma, karanipo mpo chifukwa, kasho box ilipano. And I'm so excited to actually take a look at this cash or box idea. But before we go into the ins and outs, we'd also like to apologize. In last week's edition of the program, we had mentioned that today we're going to have Mr. Daniel Dunga. But he's been assigned to equally important assignments, so he'll be here in the coming weeks. Just stay tuned because so much more is happening in this program today. You don't want to miss it. Welcome back. Now you may recall in 2020 there was a clip that went viral of a couple that were dancing to the famous Ndivine Wanji song. As Nico, we caught up with them then, talking about their life experiences and how they can secure it for their future. We decided to catch up with them and find out exactly what is going on in their lives today and this is how our chat went. <laughs> Work is tough nowadays with the COVID pandemic. You know, as a health uh, personnel, people have so many beliefs. You can impose uh, that everyone should, should wear a mask, but <coughs> without masks. But still, you, should, you have to attend to them. Yeah, so, it's a challenge to me. Being a school which is in a rural area, it's tough. Because I can compare with the schools that are in town. Uh, if you're in town, you meet kids that are, are already sharp in mind. And if you come with a topic, they don't take time to grab it. But for these ones in the rural areas, they will, they will just come to school from zero. So it's very tough. Uh, since it's a, it's, it's, it's a band of joy, so the experience is more of uh, good. For me, I take it as a big blessing from God. Kukani mwana. It's like uh, there is an additional responsibility on top of the already existing responsibility. Monetary issues, things like, so, uh, things like those. Mwana Malila, you don't know what she or he's crying for. And you just start thinking maybe she's hungry or maybe she wants something. Maybe she's sick. <laughs> So it's tough and hectic sometimes, but still more, it's beautiful. As parents, as like every parent, we want our, uh, our child to grow a better life than uh, the way we, 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 we grew. Mm? And we wish, if God allows, for her to, to have a nice job better than ours. We want to see her doing big, I should say bigger, 
than what we did or what we are doing. We as Nico Life, uh, we have a gift for you, uh, a child saver policy for Rainy. Um, this policy is going to take care of uh, uh, child education fees and it is going to run for the next uh, 10 years. Wow. <laughs> to us, Nico is just like a family because this is huge. Yeah, this is huge. We as Nico Life, uh, we are here uh, following the uh, family of uh, Stephen Manozo, who got married last year. Um, Nico, as a company, we did have uh, a surprise at their wedding. We just went there and uh, saw how good they were dancing at that wedding and uh, we gave them a small prize. Uh, since then, uh, we've uh, been following up with them and uh, we've seen that uh, it's a young couple that has got uh, big dreams uh, going ahead. So we thought of following up with them um, and uh, we learned that uh, as a couple, they have uh, a child who was born early this year, about five months. And we thought of coming uh, to see them, uh, just to encourage them, but also to showcase to them that uh, Nico stays uh, with people all throughout their lifetime. So we brought um, a present to them. Uh, we have. Uh, given them a policy, child saver policy. Um, this policy, um, the benefit is that uh, would want uh, them to be able to pay out education fees for the child as she grows. <laughs> Great to see them enjoying the company of their little one. Now connecting the dots of being first time parents, today we are talking to the Nicolife Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Eric Chapola, who is going to give us the nuts and bolts of life insurance. What exactly is Nicolife and what products do you offer? Uh, Nicolife Insurance Company Limited is a registered and licensed life insurance company in Malawi. We have been on the market for over 50 years now. And this company is owned 51% by Nico Holdings and 49% by Sanam Pan-Africa of South Africa. In terms of the products that we sell out there, we have several products that we put out to the market. The first one being the individual life line of business. This is where you see our agents throughout the country selling individual life policies, some are savings products and some are life products. We also have what we call the group life assurance business line. You might know that the Pension Act requires that every employer must ensure their employees for group life to the tune of one year's earnings for each employee. So we do write that business, that is a requirement of the law. We also sell credit life insurance. Credit life is where we insure loans, especially through banks. We also have funeral policies, both for individuals and corporates. You must have heard about the Terinano funeral product for individuals and the Kani funeral product for corporates. We also sell what we call annuities, and I need to explain a bit about what an annuity is. What the Pension Act says about people that retire is that they will take 40% of their pension account in cash, and the 60% that remains, they must go and buy an annuity 
from a life insurer. So this 60%, the retiring employee will choose the life insurer that he wants to buy this annuity from. And when they choose us as New Life, for example, we take the 60%, start to invest it, but at the same time, we start to pay this retiring person a monthly pension, which is what they receive at the end of every month. That's what an annuity is. So in brief, those are the products that we sell. But we also sell through banks, what we call bank assurance. This is an alternative distribution channel. We use banks to distribute these insurance products. So you can go in a bank, for example, and they will tell you your savings product or your savings account has funeral cover embedded in it. Mm. There is an insurance company behind it. I like how you have expounded on all of that, issues of annuity, because when people hear life insurance, it's simply saying, you know, it's scary to some people. But before we get to that, we are aware that uh, Nico Group 3 Nico Life, they pioneered the investment of two beautiful malls in Blanta as well as Lilongwe. Considering that this is a life insurance company, issues to do with life, how exactly was this possible? Nico Life is in the business of assuring lives. Our business is to collect premiums first and foremost before we come to paying claims, of course. Our ultimate business is to make sure that we pay claims and we satisfy the needs of our customers. But you must be aware of the fact that the premium is just a portion of the risk. You can have a risk that is worth 100 million, the premium will be perhaps 1 million. So our duty is to take that million, invest it to the extent that when we have a claim and claims, we must be able to pay them all. So what we do is we take these premiums and we start to invest them. And we invest them in many avenues. We can invest the premiums in cash, we can invest them in the stock market, we can buy treasury bills, we can also build buildings with these premiums. So the buildings that we've pioneered in Malawi, and there are many in the southern region, in the central region, in the north, come from these premiums. So when you see these buildings, they could be in the name of Nikolaev, yes, but they belong to the policyholders. The policyholders are policy part owners. Policyholders are part owners. Mm -hmm. Then you must also know that what uh, Nico Life, Nico Holdings did was to consolidate all these buildings into one body, which is what we call Icon Properties Limited. So we consolidated all these buildings and formed a company called Icon Properties Limited, which is a property holding company. So when you see these buildings now, they are Icon Property Buildings. Icon Properties itself is owned about more than 60% by Nico Life. The, the other portion is owned by pension funds and other shareholders. You also know that we are, as Icon, we are on the stock exchange. So there are also individuals that are part owners of these buildings. You can buy shares on the stock market, Icon shares, and be part shareholder of these buildings. Having heard that and people watching or listening to the program right now, hearing that they are part owners of this building, are they at liberty to go there and say, Ya rent is coming to me? <laughs> no, no, no. That's, that's a good question. Yes, they are part owners, but you must know that they are now have delegated that authority to Icon Properties. So Econ Properties does everything for them. They collect the rents, they pay them dividends at the end of the year. So you can't as yourself, because you've got so many shares in Icon Properties, go and knock 
at the shop right now and ask for rent. Yes. You'll be trespassing. <laughs> All right. No, that's, that's good to know. Actually, you hear that for people who have policies. A lot of us are investing every day. You invest it and Icon Properties are managing it for you. They are able to consolidate all of that and you get them in the form of annuities and making sure that your life in whatever policy you are with are able to benefit from that as well. Mr. Chapola, we are aware that the company recently invested in a new system that is meant to serve their customers better. Would you please expound on this system and exactly what should customers expect from it? Okay, one of the critical success factors in Nico Life is research and development. What we've done from last year is to invest in a new business system, what we call the Thought Express. And the idea is that we now begin to serve our customers seamlessly. We must be able to process claims, for example, quickly. We must be able to interact with our customers digitally. Over and above that, we want to reduce the traffic that goes into our offices physically. The system will make us save our customers better, will reduce complaints, end of the day we'll have delivered the promise that we make to our customers. In the icebreaker today we talked about how life is full of choices and it was even shown by our visit to the Manozos who have just recently been blessed with their first child. As Nico Life, quickly expound on the products that you offer to, to couples who have been blessed with their first child. Thank you. The first policy that I would um, advocate for such a family, firstly, is what we call the Tikondwe Festival policy. It is a policy that a family like they are can buy, and this policy pays out on agreed intervals, then it enables the family to celebrate events. In this example, they can choose, for example, that every year they will be celebrating a marriage anniversary. Because this policy pays out a cash bonus annually. Annually, they can take the bonus and have a celebration, and then also take the maturity value at the end of the policy period. The second one is what we call a child saver. A child saver is a policy that enables the couple to save for many things. In this instance, they can save for school fees in advance. So they can buy a child saver policy for five years, for 10 years, for 15 years, and target that by that age, our child will have been going into secondary school, will have been going into college, and the policy matures, and then they use that maturity value to pay for school fees. So those two, for that family, are very key the child saver and the Tukondwe Festival advance policy. Earlier on, you talked about settling claims, and last week in the program, the group managing director alluded to the fact that Nico Life managed to pay over 2 billion guacha of COVID-19 related claims. How does this amplify the stability of the company? Nico Life is a very stable company. It has a very strong balance sheet. I said earlier, it has traded for over 50 years. The fact that we are paying claims like this, and we have paid claims up to June to the tune of two billion, we are still paying more. It just tells you that we are solid and we live by our promise, which is to pay claims when they happen. COVID has just been an opportunity for us to express that when we promise that we'll pay you, we will pay, and we are paying and we will continue to pay. Going forward, what should current and potential customers expect in terms of service delivery, products, anything to do with Nicolife? For Nicolife, for the future, you should expect um, policies that are relevant to the time that we are living in. You must expect that we we'll deliver these products in a palatable manner. Right now, you can buy a funeral policy, for example, by just dialing star 325 hash. You can buy a Trinan funeral policy. They should expect that for the future, we'll do most of our business digitally to reach out to 
everybody will be settling these claims digitally through money platforms. So it will be a world in Nikolife where the customers doesn't have to come physically to Nikolife for anything. In the comfort of their homes, they will get the services that they need. Is there anything else you'd like to share with the viewers today? Just to say that for Nikolife, we have a vision of being the preferred life insurer using innovation as an instrument and also dedicated employees. Going forward, you see lots of innovations coming from Nikolife and please be alert, it will be interesting times. Thank you, Mr. Chapola, for sharing insights on Nico Life. Thank you so much. That was Mr. Chapola, the Chief Executive Officer of Nico Life, a subsidiary of the Nico Group. We'll be right back. Soon and very soon, Rebecca is going to be here playing cash or box. Stay right there. Ten us, Rebecca. Cash or box? Then can you agree? To go to do cash or box? Ya figure son tawi jeme ndi masoela game game mene wina ale sara bwe bano za sewera ama wina sama shoga shimanja manja ko mama shoga ndi kena kake kuipula muno program ya the one imene tima kupatsira ni if aniko company okhayo yomwe ndi ukadaulo poende tsankhani za shuma kuyambira nthawi mene muli akhanda kufikira nthawi mene ni yomwe akhazikitsa maziko ano kuti mutenge nao gawo mu game mene i tilembere ni uthenga pa 0991323323 mutuze dzina lanu komaso kumene ni yomwe akhala mukatero mudzala wa mayere amene tita za sankhe munthu amene anga za sewere game mene mu program ina yotsatirai Mugemi mene hii, mulindi mwai osanka boxi, imene ili ndi mpoto zo siyana siyana. Komaso, mulindi mwai osanka kashi, ii mungu yona abali. Gemi ya chalero, mtu ya mbili ya kusoe la gemi mene hii, ndi customer watu, amene wakala akutitada wambili masambatu wa nchezo, monga Facebook, Twitter, komaso Instagram. Ndeti na chiona urindi nchofu ni gila wambili kukasa kuti ndi program yoyamba yomu itita sewele gemi mene hii, kuti atsegulire ndi mtu ya mene yoyo. Takuna ndila na Richard. Ndiku batani mwai, odi musanke, bagadi pa box, kabena cash, ii mungu yona abali. Muboxi mu, mulitima beba la timenta le mbamu mpoto zo siyana siyana. Komaso, kashi ihili ya babaye. Nde chimeji ta zichitike njone na kuti, inuyo muka sanka kashi. Muka sanka box, ineyo ndi zonjezela mungu wa ndrama. Koma gemi mene hii, tisewila kwa mpindi zidatu zoka. Pamene kwa mwanji. Zambeka buna buino. Kabena ndi buwele zesu. Hai Zambeka. Kisha buino. Titabu ya mba kwechi. Mwabonzeka. Ready. Mwabonzeka. Mwabonzeka nga mfuna mazo ugu mwanji. Alipo. Shabu ino Arishadi. Manja mwangamu, muli 6,000 ya kwaja. Ndi boxi ni musa nkanyani. Boxi. Ndi onje sere shabu ino. 10,000 ya kwaja. Ndi boxi ni musa nkanyani. Boxi. Ndi kuti tukashi hili ili mmanja. 12,000. Musa nkanyani. Boxi. Ama ndi tufuja ndi yali pa mpuno. Waba jani ndi wampepo. Kashi ili mkuyi uona. 15,000 ya kwaja. Ndi boxi ni musa nkanyani. Hmm, boxi. Chifu kato ndu unena, umu musitu kuziwa kutu mulishani. Kuma kashi, mkushita kuyo nena atu, kunja ndu kwa mpevu uku, papi ato umula. 18,000 ya kwaja, ndi boxi musa nkaja. Boxi. Kuma atu, kulipo atu kutaya atu, bo mweta mweta, baba, chifu kande. Mungungu limbi kila boxi, za mboxi situ kuziziwa. Kuma ili kashi, ili ibo yoti, mkangoti kashi, ini nene mweta, kukupa atisani. 20,000 ya kwaja, musa nkaja. Kuzinga? 20, ndi boxi musa nkaja. Hmm, I'll take my chances. Box. Eh, I'll go. Come on, box him. Sit in the middle of the room. When I'm listening to such a beautiful thousand, shall we? Twenty-two thousand. The wagon. The box. Musa kaya. Box. Papi adomo. I suit you. Twenty-five thousand. The wagon. The box. Musa kaya. Um, box. Eh, come on. Put it on the bed side. Mamunga mwa wabeza wabeza mkanzi zake zima kanga dzimene zizi alicha diro yangu na tangu beza aini ya bunge twenty seven thousand dewa ni box mu sanka ya box eh eh komatu 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 mu box mu hema cha bunge thirty thousand dewa ni box mu sanka ya 
folks. <laughs> I want to go to the box. I'm going to go to the box. I'm going to go to the box. I'm going to go Yeah, Three <laughs> 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 Three two three. Mugadero Mzaro and Mairi, the Bosabadamawa, As we continue talking about life choices, next week we talk about the choices you make about the assets you accumulate. We'll be here talking to Nico General Chief Executive Officer, Mr. Don Belmandala. He'll be here talking about how important it is that those things you value the most are covered by an insurer that really cares about what matters most to you. Not forgetting, next week we premiere CEO Joe, as Rebecca has been mentioning, Abana Joe and all his tactics everything that he goes through. Not forgetting cash of boxes back again next week. All you have to do is make sure you enter that competition by SMSing us on 0991-323-323. You don't want to miss that. As always, I've been your host, Sharon Chira, and my co-host, Rebecca Kadzaeka. From the one team, it's good night. <laughs>